I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my birdhouse of love. Ah, those heady days of World War II. Of course, on the home front, things were far from rosy. But we muddled through. And after D-Day, we pushed back the Nazis. Of course, you already know all this. What you might not know is the role that the humble carrier pigeon played in Allied victory, as depicted in today's subject, Valiant. Released in 2005, Valiant is the tale of a plucky wood pigeon and his squadmates in the Royal Homing Pigeon Service. Featuring a galaxy of A-list voices, and backed by Disney, you'd think that it would have been a smash hit. Sadly, reviews ranged from mixed to negative, and Rotten Tomatoes only rates this movie at 31%. But of course, that is what the House of Love is for. So it's helmets on and chocks away for an animated tale of avian bravery in... Valiant! Meet Valiant, a plucky young pigeon. He's just what the RHPS needs. But a chance encounter introduces him to the kind of pigeon they don't. This is Bugsy. A smart-mouthed, if slightly fragrant, city trickster pigeon portrayed by Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I know. But just go with it. He's actually rather charming in this. But smart mouth Bugsy is all our hero needs to blag them both into service. Where we meet our other protagonists. And so our heroes begin training, which is predictably... thorough. Basic training. I tell ya, I was just 18, fresh-faced and youthful. I never knew what hit me. Although it has served me well over the years. And I still do try and keep a practice in once a week or so. I mean, it isn't as much as it should be, probably, but it does keep me from getting rusty, at least. Though we do meet Nurse Victoria. You see, women were rather restricted in role of the 1940s, 50s, onward. I mean, even today, it's... well, it's better than it was, but there's always more to do. All too soon, before they're even anywhere near competent, Squadron F, are called into battle. And while Bugsy gets cold feet in the middle of the night, I'm scared. His spirit soon returns. I can let you get all the glory. And so Squadron F head to occupied France. The drop almost goes according to plan. Except that Commander Gutsy's cord is jammed. And it looks like curtains for our commander. Valiant steps up and assumes command. Leading his squad to the resistance mice. Ah, the French resistance. The French government may have surrendered, but the French people never did. A lot of communist sympathisers around back then as well. Nowadays, who knows? But yeah, they did their best to stymie Nazi efforts. Who impart the all-important secret message to... Bugsy! And so, the rest of the squad act as a diversion, while Bugsy and Valiant set off for London. But oh dear, the enemy Falcons aren't so easily fooled. And Bugsy is captured! But shock! Commander Gutsy's alive! And actually, it was a bit of a shock to me, not having seen this before. 
I thought they might just leave him dead. After all, what good does it do putting him back into the story here? Except for maybe a few yucks about his miraculous escape. And once again, our hero steps up, flying down the barrel of an anti-tank cannon. Slipping into General Von Talon's HQ, Valiant recovers the message, and the prisoners. Oh, blimey, all this trouble. And for what? Well, actually, this is a very important message. This little message is the secret true landing location for the Allied Liberation Forces. This little message alone is the one that will make the D-Day Normandy landings possible. And so our heroes head for home, diverting the enemy on the way. But General Von Talon won't be denied. Luckily, our hero's route takes him through his hometown. Sound the alarm! Where a spot of quick thinking saves the day. <laughs> and so our movie ends as the message is delivered. And our heroes enjoy a spot of downtime. So that was Valiant. And again, I came into this one not having seen it before. But you know what? Despite the bad reviews, despite the negative publicity, I'm going to put this one into the House of Love. This is another family film. It's even got a U slash G rating. And while it is a little, perhaps a lot, formulaic in its story, and I don't doubt that younger viewers will have seen better, the voice performances are strong, as one would expect from a cast that includes Tim Curry, Ricky Gervais, Ewan McGregor and more, and of those performances, of course Ewan McGregor's Valiant is going to have the lion's share of the lines, and his youthful plucky character shines through. Although Ricky Gervais, and I fully acknowledge that at least in person some people find him resolutely detestable, but he delivers well here as a stinky cowardly city pigeon, in well over his head, but with flashes of courage, and a genuine noble streak. Though I would have liked to have seen a lot more of the rest of the squadron, or at least lovable Geordie Meatheads, Toughwood and Tailfeather. The animation is good. Vanguard films his team making avians that look, if not convincing, then at least well proportioned, and the feathers are believable enough. Plus, they've managed to capture a lot of the charm of wartime rural Britain, along with some of the desolation of wartime France. As to the flow of this movie, while most of the time flitting between two scenes can be confusing if you're not paying attention, it's handled well here, and the story is necessarily straightforward, being that of the young hero who jumps at the chance to fight, but learns that war isn't quite as glorious as they make out. On the other hand, it is formulaic. The band of no-hopers come good, another predictably menacing and eminently hateable, if reliably masterful, turn from Tim Curry, and I'm not entirely sure that Jim Broadbent was ever cut out for the role of drill sergeant not against the British benchmark of such things that is Windsor Davis. Overall then, this isn't a terrible movie, just not all that memorable. Technically, it's faultless, and it does have a lot of heart. Perhaps with a slightly higher rating, it could have been a bit bolder, and taken the risk of actually killing the main villain at the end. But, for what it is, and at a digestible 68 minutes plus credits, Valiant is a fine example of British animated filmmaking. I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you good days and great entertainment. Just don't mention the war. Dismissed, pigeons!